And now we have a message from Prime Minister Robert Abela from the beautiful island of Malta. The COVID-19 pandemic is the biggest global public health challenge of our generation. Many lives were lost on all continents and drastic measures were taken to contain the spread of the virus. It affected the daily lives of most of the global population. Nationally, we took strong containment decisions to save human life. Despite the high number of deaths worldwide, one may still consider these measures a success since many more lives were and are being saved. The other side of the coin of these containment measures is the impact on our respective economies and globally. Many jobs were lost, affecting the livelihood of many of our respective citizens. The lives of many people drastically changed, some of whom have been brought to the brink of poverty. These hardships, together with the confinement, also have an effect on mental health, the extent of which is yet to be determined. And although many of us are now relaxing our national containment measures, life will be considered far from normal, and it is very unlikely that we can have a swift economic recovery until we find a vaccine. The elderly and the most vulnerable will be mostly affected. The global management of the virus is of utmost importance, and those countries with a weaker health system require our support. Since the virus has proved to be very infectious and clearly without borders, all countries need to have access to clinically proven therapeutics and testing material. Testing has proven to be an essential tool. Therefore, it is important that it is globally available and that there is adequate financing in this regard. Secondly, Every day which passes without a vaccine will result in undesired consequences to human life and the economy. The global economic slowdown is increasing global poverty and famine. The economic slowdown could result in a significant death toll, far beyond of those dying with the virus itself. We have a collective responsibility to avert this as much as possible. It is essential that we start building the capacity for the swift production of the vaccine, as soon as the safety and the efficacy of a developed product is scientifically proven. This fast and large-scale production is essential in order to avoid a repetition of the chaos we are all currently facing to purchase protective equipment, ventilators, and some essential medicines. Swift and equitable global deployment of these vaccines is also essential. We must ensure that no country is left behind, irrespective of its wealth. We therefore need to have strategies, together with the World Health Organization and international organizations, to ensure that the vaccine reaches all. This includes the poor, marginalized, and those in war-stricken areas. To this effect, my government is today pledging 400,000 euro towards identified needs and partnerships. Thank you so much, Malta.